Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mello. I'm a broker associate at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. And today we're in the Wesley Chapel area. We're not that far away from Tampa, about 20 minutes away from Tampa, probably about, you know, maybe about half an hour away from Lakeland, a good hour away from Orlando. And we're in Persimmon Park at Wiregrass. So we're gonna to talk to you about this model behind us. It was actually built by ICI Builders. And it actually is the Lantana model. Now talking a little bit about the actual stats on this house. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom home with 1,793 square feet and the price at time of shooting was 404 900 that's the base price you got lot premiums and upgrades and the price may change today September 3rd 2020 so if you're watching this a month from now or a day from now that may change if you want to know the actual price today give us a call at 407 630 8484 be more than happy to help you out uh, and tell you what the actual price of this home is so um, the Haksha house as we see it right now it's gonna be in the 550 range because they do have a lot of upgrades and changes to it so that's an estimate estimated price. So let's go ahead and show you a little bit. I think it's an absolutely cute little house as far as the front goes. We have some really nice stonework and also how the actual front interior, what they call the elevation is with how the roof line is and also even these uh, windows above in the attic space really just makes the house look a real, like a really nice house. I do like it. My daughter who's behind the camera actually really likes the interior and exterior of this home also. So we come up here up the paved driveway and this is a rear entry two car garage. So we'll show you that in a second, but we have a nice little patio out here where you can sit and enjoy the neighborhood. It's a really, really nice neighborhood here in Wesley Chapel. So let's go ahead and go inside and show you the rest of the home. All right, so welcome into this home. So let me kind of close this door behind me. Obviously it's a nice upgraded door with the actual window looking out. Also has a window above there for some actual natural light. We're in the front entryway. We see the ceramic tile going throughout like wood grain ceramic tile, which is really nice. They set this up as an office, has a really nice chandelier hanging from the ceiling. And one thing that obviously that most people would notice as soon as they walk in is how high the ceilings are. Extremely high ceilings, makes the house feel grand, has a tray ceiling with crown molding going around around some nice woodworking also in that tray ceiling we do have three windows up high for some natural light and of course these beautiful plantation shutters and even more windows here i think this is just a beautiful beautiful home so the first thing we're going to do is go to my right or your left and show you the two bedrooms that are over here um, we're going to go down the hallway show you the bathroom that those bedrooms share. So this bathroom I think is outstanding as far as the actual details of it. We have really nice cabinets, high quality cabinetry, countertop, sink, and of course the mirror with uh, the light fixtures. Behind me is a tub and really beautiful tile work going all the way up to the ceiling with a window that's pretty high up for some natural light coming in. So let's go ahead and go right and show you the first bedroom, what I call the European French type feel. So I feel like I'm in Europe or maybe even in like somewhere in Paris when I'm in here as far as the uh, decor goes. Really nice chandelier above us. And of course the bed here and then we have the closet over on that other direction. So let's go ahead and show you bedroom number three. So if I go this direction and then here, this will be bedroom three. And this one's a uh, decor with animals. We have a little chimpanzee, an elephant, a cool little clock on the, ro uh, on the wall, some nice woodworking, uh, nice bed here. They even have a, like a little giraffe decor going here right next to the closet, which is behind the door. So then we have a laundry room. So as we go into the laundry room, we see that we have washer and dryer and they even have, we had this in one of those big homes, wash, dry and fold. So it tells you exactly what to do as far as washing, drying and folding. All right, so let's go right past this actual uh, office space and go into the main living area. So here is the living area. To my right is the formal dining room. It's really cool. They have some really cool white wood paneling going all the way around. This beautiful fan above us. And of course, a table set up for six people as far as you know doing your dining room. Now, on the other side would be the kitchen. So we come over to the kitchen and then we see we have a pantry. Let me open that up so you can see what size a pantry is. And then right next to the pantry, we have our oven microwave combo, plenty of storage, really beautiful cabinets. And then of course we have all the drawers. Now these are the soft closed drawers. So they do have high quality cabinets going on. Beautiful backsplash, it's ceramic tile, but it looks like a stone type of ceramic tile. Um, we do have our uh, stove top and also the vent that's vented out. That stonework goes all the way up to the ceiling. And on either side, you see these windows giving in some really nice natural light. Now on the other side, we do have our center island kitchen, which is nice size. They have enough space here for four people to sit. 
really nice pendant lights above. And then of course we have our dishwasher. We do have a stainless steel uh, a, a farmhouse sink and also faucet. And as we go, we have more and more storage all the way up to the refrigerator. So behind me is the family room. Also very, very high ceilings. You see that same thing we saw in the office with the actual crown molding and woodworking, recessed lights and fan above us. And then you can sit over here. We have the plantation shutters. They even have more windows up high. As you see for that natural light, it seems like a pretty good theme with a specific builder. So follow me this direction. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you out and show you the outdoor living area. So as we come out here, What's really neat is over to my right is an outside summer kitchen. Now that is actually screened in, so you actually are screened in. It has a sink and a, refri a refrigerator and a nice barbecue. We have a little table here set up for sitting out. It's actually a fire pit. And then we even have some space out here that's all screened in that you can sit out and enjoy the beautiful Florida weather. So let's go ahead and go back inside. The only thing left, what we have to show you is the primary bedroom which is right to my left. So follow me this direction. As you see, we have a nice king size bed, windows on either side with those plantation shutters, and then also a tray ceiling above me with the same sort of woodworking that we saw. And we also have crown molding all the way around the outside of this bedroom as well. Very, very spacious. And it goes into the bathroom. The bathroom has one of those barn house doors, farm house doors, barn house doors. I always get that wrong, don't I? So, but you know what I'm saying. And then we come into this room here. We have ceramic tile on the floor and then this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful countertop. Nice cabinet works, but what did you all notice as soon as we walked in here? Probably these mirrors. These mirrors have built-in LED lights within it. I think that's a really cool touch. And of course we have the window in the middle for natural light. Behind me is a shower with a frameless shower. As we stepped in, we do have uh, hexagon tiles below me. And then we have the tile work going all the way up to the ceiling. And then the only thing left we have is the closet. And then we also have a water closet over here. So that's this whole house. Again, if you're interested in buying, I do work with some really good realtors in the area. Some of them are a little shy to be on camera, trying to get them to get on camera, but they know the area and they've had decades of experience selling in this area and they actually live in this area. So give me a call. I'll talk to you, see what you're looking for as far as what area of Florida you might be interested in. And I'll get one of the realtors on my team to help you find the home that's perfect for you. And if not, if you just want to find homes that just gets you some ideas for your home, whether wherever you live, uh, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We'll definitely appreciate it. Thanks and take care. Bye-bye.